Oh, hello there. <laughs> uh, welcome to the prototype episode of Glass Half Geek. Um, I'm a geek, but I like other things that are not traditionally geeky. Um, so on this show, half the time we're talking about geeky stuff like this, and the other half of the time we're going to talk about mm, not as traditionally geeky stuff like uh, board games. Getting puzzles. Soft drinks? I don't know! Could get interesting. Today we're gonna check out Blocks by Google, which is a VR app that just launched for uh, the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Maybe I'll draw some of the things we might be talking about on this show. Also, I sincerely apologize for the uh, quality of the audio. It's not going to be great. Like I said, this is just a test run. But um, if I talk while I doodle, <laughs> I do talk while I doodle. Uh, it's coming through the microphone on the Vive right now. And it's probably not going to sound great. So uh, bear with me. Let's get to it. I'm actually really excited for this. I think Tiltbrush is my favorite VR app. I love um, the creation aspect. Uh, use, just using it as a tool is a lot more exciting to me than another wave shooter. So I'm really excited to check this out. How about a quick tutorial? Sure. Where's the paintbrush? my palette okay got it cool I got the basics me neither so that tutorial actually seemed to get me through some of the basics I can select the shape with the uh, trackpad and change the size. That's through clicking. It's not a, um, not so much a gradual movement like in Tilt Brush. Uh, let's see what. Um, I don't know. I guess we're talking about VR today. So um, why don't I start with a shape like this? Okay, and I can mess with the size just by dragging. Ooh. Whoa, actually, that's kind of what I want. Let me do a grab tool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint that vibe black. I wonder if I can put some little... Oh, there's different context options for the tools. I like that little brush. What else do I have? Stroke? Whoa. And undo is in the same spot as on the tilt brush. Great. Okay. That's actually kind of a Vive headset, right? <laughs> kind of. I mean, rudimentary, but... Okay, so if I... How did I select again? Ah, right, just by squeezing the trigger. And I can group it. That's just what I was wondering. Cool. Here's the headset. <laughs> That's actually pretty, pretty great. All right, what else can we make? I always draw a cat when I am um, filling out receipts. Oh, that, so those are flat shapes. Oh, all right. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, how big? Uh, we'll make it like kitten size. How about jumping in the air? Okay. Uh, go like brown on it. I should be 
painting it last, but <laughs> definitely got some kitty ears. Whoa, that's not bad. I guess you set the thickness no matter what. Okay. That's fine. I can just kind of have it receding in. That actually looks pretty good. There we go. That'll do. can probably tweak that a little. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a little button nose. Oh, maybe there's something better in here. Oh, polygons. Um, I don't know. How's that for a cat nose? Oh, it's wiggly. <laughs> it's really wiggly. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, uh, that'll do. Let's get some circles for eyes. Guess that'll be fine. Whoa! Okay, just a double tap. Okay. Um, how about a, one of these <laughs> donut, donuts for mouth? Let's get a little color on this. Pretty easy to paint. Pretty precise. Whoa, that's a little trickier. It's kind of like filling in the line in Microsoft Paint. Also, my controller seems to be floating a little. There we go. <laughs> I can group all that. I like that. There we go. You know what, just because I have an extruder tool. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and then we'll get the legs. So you can do a bulk painting if you just hold the trigger. That's nice. Okay, I made a weird cat. Two-headed cat. No tail. Uh, maybe I should give it a tail. That's a little more normal. That's a little big. Oh well. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty easy to duplicate stuff. I mean, I must admit, I've never made anything in 3D software even close to this crappy little thing, but it's actually not that bad. I mean, you could use this as an asset in a game, probably. Well, I don't know who would want to do that, but. We can flip it. Oh. <laughs> Let's put all the cats on the ceiling. Eh, you guys can hang out down there. Let's modify. Reshape. Subdivide. Extrude. Alright, so we got some... Whoa. Oh, wow. You can actually adjust the vertices. That's a nice subtle effect too when you get it closer to objects. What else might we see in this show? Um, we might talk about
I should really draw a toilet. Um, I guess for the bowl, I could probably do something like this, and then indent something like that. I don't know if there's a way to select multiple vertices like that. Not the prettiest lid. Tank. Let's see here. It's honestly pretty intuitive. As you can see, I haven't played with it that much. Now this is by no means an amazing toilet, but... As a basis for, you know, something quick to throw around. That's pretty awesome for 3D modeling. And, um, yeah, I can sit on that. Ah! Uh, oh, wow. Oh, no, I forgot to add a flusher. Eh, you know. That'll do. <laughs> I like my toilet. Honestly, it's a neat art style. It's, um... Sort of reminiscent of like PlayStation or Dreamcast. It's kind of chunky. Make another one of these. Oh, the idea was to make a beer glass. Now it'd be really cool to combine um, tilt brush as a texture. Or something because this is um yeah it'd be really nice to draw on a flat surface like you can in tilt brush i wonder if i can import these objects into tilt brush hmm so if you hit pub oh wow Cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. So you can also uh, add a reference image. So that's interesting. I wonder if that also shows up in the... Uh, in the um, export. I don't know why it wouldn't. That's cool. Cool coffee table, right, guys? Oh, a little crooked, but that'll do. Got my cool beer coffee table. My toilet with turd. My cats. Cats on the ceiling. A little house. Um, man, who knows? We're going to be talking about all kinds of stuff on this show. People. Let me just pretend these are people. All cultures. All right, I better quit while I'm ahead. You guys can download this file. <laughs> I'll provide the link down below. I also have no idea where I'm talking. There we go. Cool. All right, that was pretty cool little test drive. I'm a little sweaty. I got a little bit of Vive Raccoon mask going on. Um, but definitely check out Blocks, and um, you can even go on the website there and download my creation. So give that a look-see. You can check out my turd, my cats in the wall, um, and my um, cool beer coffee table, right? Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to do a little research and see if this is cross-compatible at all with Tilt Brush yet, and or exportable to other formats. Um, yeah, because I'm a geek.